So this week in the duels, I fight Dampener, the highest rated elemental shaman, aka Jamili. It was a pretty tough matchup. I was pretty surprised because most of the time on a regular basis, I don't really lose to elemental shamans. Like 90% of the time, I just win them and it's not much of a challenge. But uh, Dampener gave me a run for my money. Honestly, he won more than I won overall, which was, like I said, very surprising. And uh, the video that I posted of the actual duels, I felt like didn't do him justice. I only posted three duels, two wins and one loss. And the two wins that I posted were ones that I did my best. It kind of made it seem like it was a joke for me because of how well I did in the two duels. But in reality, that was rare and it only happened a couple times out of all the duels that we had. So I want to go more in depth in this video of what actually happened and how you can beat an elemental shaman. Like I said, I did lose more than I won. But if you're fighting lower rated shamans, the strategy should work guaranteed. So let's get started. So first things first, we're going to be going over the shaman's abilities and what they have to counter us as fire mages. Number one is Shear, which is their interrupt. Number two is Grounding Totem. Number three is Windwalk Totem, which is pretty much a talent they can choose, which freedoms them, which means you can't Frost Nova. Number four is Shamanistic Rage. And when this is Glyphed, they can actually get out of your deep freezes with it. Which means they have two CC breakers you have to go through before you actually score the kill. And number 5 is Purge, which means they can steal your hot streak procs and take them away, which means you'll have no damage. And this is the huge counter for his fire mages. This is one of the biggest banes for us. So it's very important that you know how to counter this. So now I'm going to go over the ways you can actually counteract these abilities. For one, a shear, all you want to do is just juke it. Next is Grounding Totem, which means he can actually ground your abilities. So what you want to do is just Ice Lance it. It's pretty simple. Make sure you don't want like Pyro into it or anything like that, because that means you'll lose out on your main source of damage. At number three, Windwalk, which is their freedom. Uh, try your best to just kill the totem. If they are not talented into it, it can just die with one Ice Lance, so it's pretty easy. Or you can Frost Jaw them to Deep Freeze. Frost Jaw is a built-in root and silence in one ability, but even if they have Windwalk up, they can still get Frost Jaw. Uh, they can still run around with it, but they'll still be silenced. Number 4 is Shamanistic Rage. Like I said earlier, they can actually get out of your deep freezes with this ability, but if you silence them inside the deep freeze, it will unallow them to pop Shamanistic Rage. This is actually huge to your burst setup, so you can counteract their ability to get out of your deep. And number 5 for purges, you just want to try your best to CC them before you burst so you can control most of the fight, otherwise they can easily just purge you. Another way to counteract this is just to throw as many trash buffs on yourself as you can, that way you have less of a chance to get your hot streak purge. Also spell steal the enemy shaman as well so you can have more buffs on you. As for their offensive abilities, they have lava surge procs. It's pretty similar to hot streak procs for fire mages. So it gives them instant lava bursts, but it stems from flame shock ticks, which is their dot. So it's very RNG, it can happen at any time. So to counter this, you want to try to spell steal them or CC them while they have these procs up. Preferably spell steal. Next is Ascendance. It pretty much makes it so that there is no cooldown on lava burst, so they can just spam it and destroy you. So what you want to do is try to lock out the lava burst while they have this up, or try to CC them or line of sight if there is line of sight. Next is Unleashed Elements. This pretty much makes their next fire ability do more damage. So most of the time they're just going to try to combo this up with Lava Burst to burst you down. So just keep an eye on that buff. The last is Fire Elemental Totem which is a 1 minute pet that they can summon. And it does a substantial amount of sustained damage. So I tried actually killing it here and there but it's actually a little bit hard to kill. So I actually prefer to put my burst into the shaman instead and force his cooldowns to eventually score a kill. So just try to kite this as much as possible. Even though this pet doesn't do a lot of burst, uh, after a minute it can really do some big damage. So uh, yeah, watch out for that. So here is a really good example of Dampener countering all my damage. So I tried to palm alter time with my hot streak to set up for my damage, but he actually instantly NS hexes my altar and then purges my altar time and palm. 
I then try to proceed to defreeze him with Frost Nova, but then he just wind walks it, unallowing me to set up on him. Also, here's a good example of how much damage Lava Burst can do to you with Unleashed Elements up. Sometimes they can actually just win the duel without ascendancing because they're controlled so much throughout the fight that when they actually get a chance to damage you, it happens so quickly. So in this next clip, I'm going to show a good example of Dampener popping his Fire Elemental Totem early in the fight. So I'm going to Inferno Blast to ramp up my burst, dot him up, I'm going to try to poly him, juke sheer, re-poly him, then I get NS Hex on my cast. So I'm going to instantly trinket it, Inferno Blast to get my proc and get his grounding totem. I'm going to silence him, steal one of his lava burst procs, then I'm going to palm all the time frost shot defreeze him and he instantly trinkets it. I then combust on him and he thunderstorms me off the ledge. And right here, as you can see, Dampener didn't do that much to me, but this Fire Elemental Totem is really just soloing me. So my lesson to you here is feel free to just Ice Block early in the fight, even though he has an Ascendance yet, because with Ascendance, you can easily stop it with Dragon's Breath or Counterspell, whereas this Fire Elemental Totem has so much uptime on you that it makes you lose the duel inevitably. So in this next clip, I'm going to go over what can happen when you have really early pressure and what you can do to be ahead of the duel most of the time while he has no fire elemental. So first things first, I'm going to Inferno Blast him to ramp up my burst, then Dragon's Breath him into Sheep. I'm then going to try to kill the Windwalk Totem so I can Frost Nova him in peace, and then Inferno Blast his Water Totem to get a proc instead of breaking my poly. I'm going to re-poly him, cast a Frost Shell so I can set up, Dot him up with Living Bomb, then Scorch Pyro Deep Freeze to get another Pyro, Silence into that Deep Freeze so he can't actually Sham Rage, now I have a lot of damage going into him. I'm going to steal his instant Lava Surge proc and then Temporal Shield his casted Lava Burst. I'm going to Inferno Blast for my proc and Palm Alter Time and chuck millions of Pyros into him. He grounds my Palm Pyro but it's okay because I still have more Pyros from Alter Timing. He's going to Hex me so I'm going to Trinket it and Breath him to steal his Lava Burst proc. But he actually Trinkets right here. This is really good. Uh, I feel like it was a mistake on his part to Trinket offensively because as a Shaman versus Fire Mage I feel like you should save it for Deep Freeze at all times. And then I'm going to Inferno Blast him to ramp up my damage again, dot him up, and now that I have not much globals, I'm just going to throw a couple Ice Nices into him, and then I'm going to Counterspell him, Inferno Blast, and Nova him, and Shatter off it with Fireball Pyro to get guaranteed crits. Then I'm going to dot him up, and actually Ice Block here so I can Ice Block Lift Nova him to also guarantee crit. And Inferno Blast to get another Hostry proc, Dragon's Breath him into a Frost Shot, and Shatter it, and down he goes. So as you can see right there, uh, I felt like that was played really well by me, but at the same time, Dampener didn't play his best. Uh, he actually Sham Rage really late on the first deep when I think he could have just trinketed it. And then he also used his trinket on a Dragon's Breath. So this is a really good example of taking advantage of the enemy's choices and how you can put early pressure with Palm of the Time while he's polyed so he can't actually steal your procs. So if this guide helped you out, feel free to leave a like down below. And let me know what class you'd like to see me fight next in the comments. Also, I have a lot more exciting stuff coming in the near future, so stay tuned and keep burning shit.